Hi there and welcome. Today I'm really excited about this new tool that I discovered a while ago called Eleven Labs and a conversational AI that you can generate for your website or for your courses or blog. And this is it. It's a reflection assistant. I call it assistant because uh, as you can see, it says, let's reflect at the bottom right. I'm going to click on it and show you how it works. Hi there. As part of your reflection on the AI generated online course you just took, a bot will guide you through the process. Your task is to engage thoughtfully with each prompt. What AI tools surprised or challenged you the most so far? Well, Magic School surprised me and challenged me at the same time. Can you elaborate on what aspects of Magic School you found surprising and challenging? Well, I found it surprising that one of my uh, participants indicated it has 88 different features. And what challenged me was the fact that I couldn't export the activities that I generated unless I paid. It's understandable that you were surprised by the sheer number of features Magic School has. It definitely sounds like a robust tool. Did you find that the free version offered enough features to be useful, even without the ability to export? Well, what's the point of creating activities if you can't export them? Or you, you just need to copy and paste them, which is kind of ridiculous. So um, I found other tools that were uh, perhaps uh, less challenging, um, such as Defit. That's a valid point. It sounds like the limitations of the free version hindered your ability to fully utilize Magic School. Diffit is a great tool too. What did you appreciate about using Diffit in the course? Well, I was really happy that I was able to export all my activities to Google Form, and that way students can actually do the activities directly from Google. This was just a demo. I'm going to hit end and it ends. All right, this is an 11 lab. I went into, as you can see, conversational AI. It's in beta right now, but I'm still trying it out. Um, okay, so you click on it and then you have a plus here, which means you can start an agent. Not gonna start one right now, but I'll take you through mine. Okay, it's called Reflection Assistant. Notice uh, I can copy the ID of the agent and maybe customize it for other courses since um, this was for one specific course. Notice I can test it here after it's done. I can also uh, share the link and edit the name if I wish. But that's not the way it looks if you noticed. It has another name. It's called Assistant, which means that I can customize it and I'll show you where. Now notice these are very important. Agent, voice, analysis, advanced, and the widget that I'm using on my site. Let's go into agent. All right, so here the first message is what you heard, and this is something that I added and make the changes required. All right, so this is the first message. As you can see, it's related to uh, the course. Notice uh, this is more specific system prompt. This is for the system. It's not mentioned by the bot. But here I added, and notice this is really important, add the tools that you use because before I added Magic School or any of the other tools, the bot kept telling me that uh, I should stick to the course and what's in the course and not uh, come up with uh, other tools. So it'll try to keep you uh, within the course and not go off. Notice here, um, right now it's completely free, so try it out. It's on them. You can use any of these. I've chosen Gemini 1.5 Pro, but you can choose any of the others right now or later on. If you intend to pay, choose the one that you pay. And if you don't, you might want to consider that. <laughs> All right, the limit token, I unlimited uh, token usage. And um, there's no limit there. Notice the limits only if you add something above zero. And then knowledge base, that's the, uh, the link to the course. And if you go into the course, you'll get this information. You don't need to actually go into the course. The bot will be able to get the information outside the course. And let me show you where that will appear. It'll appear 
here, okay, without having to log in because bots don't log into your site. All right, so here is um, the information that the bot got, okay, but I can also add this, which I did. All right, so uh, that's the uh, initial information under agent and then voice. Here you can choose the voice, any voice uh, that's available up to you. And then um, I left this because I'm not familiar with it. So what I don't know, I just left as is. Uh, configure latency optimization. Late can be optimized at the cost of quality. So uh, perhaps it should be lower. I'm not sure. Stability will make it more consistent, but it could also make it sound monotone. Okay, so that's you can play around with that since uh, you can test it and see what that does. Okay, so that's up to you to test and see. Analysis, notice um, you can add evaluation criteria. The conversations, you can find the evaluation results of each conversation in the history tab. So if I go into history, I'll be able to uh, see the results. Success, success. Here there was something unknown. All right, uh, let's go back. All right, so that's uh, for you to play around with under analysis and data collection at item if you're looking for something specific and then uh, but you'll have to add item and notice uh, string description how to extract the data from the strip all right and then advanced now in the advanced um, you can add authentication i left that out because it didn't seem to work for me but this is important turn time don't make it too um, too fast and here is the conversation there are 30 minutes. Notice you can also um, define the comma separated keywords that have likelihood of being predicted correctly. So in this case, um, I may want to add the tools. I think that might um, help. So if I go back into voice, not voice agent, notice I listed these tools. So you might want to list these, but they don't have commas after them. They don't have commas, so what I generally do is I go into ChatGPT and ask for the commas. So I'm back here, and um, I got this from ChatGPT. Let me get rid of the and here, because that's not necessary. Okay, so I could save that. Notice anything else, client events, audio and interruption are part of it. Save. If you don't save, it'll remind you, which I think is great. You have unsaved changes. So now we've got everything. We can test the agent. Let's see. We need to click on it. And here it goes. Hi there. Can you please share what AI tools surprised or challenged you the most so far in the course? Well, all the tools. That's interesting to hear. Could you elaborate a bit more on what specifically surprised or challenged you about the tools? Can you remind me of the tools, please, so that it makes it easier for me? Of course. During the course, we explored these AI tools. Magic School, Diffit, Notebook LM, Riff AI Bot, ChatGPT. You're Chat going GPT. too fast. Can you slow down? My apologies. Here's the complete list of tools we used in the course. Please um, stop after each tool so I can think about them. Okay, no problem. The first tool we used was Magic School. What are your thoughts about Magic School? I thought Magic School was wonderful because it allowed me to use lots of tools. That's great to hear. Magic School can be quite a versatile tool. How about Diffit? Did you find it surprising or challenging in any way? I found it a lot better than Magic School for the simple reason that I could export for free. That's a good point. The ability to easily export your work is definitely a big plus. Let's move on to Notebook LM. What did you think of that tool? Can you tell me a little bit about Notebook? Because I don't think I... Uh... You're referring to Notebook LM, right? Okay, let me know if you have any questions about Notebook LM after you've had a chance to look it up. So we're going to go back now to our course, and here it is, within the course, and only within the course. So if we go into another course, let's try this one. It doesn't appear magic. Right, so let me know if you have any questions about 11 labs or anything else related to uh, education and AI tools. Thank you for watching.